Okay. So now I have to talk to everybody about Goombo Fu because I forgot to do that earlier. Ooh, let's call Bess and George. They're fun. Five, 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 four, four. Come on, game. I pressed the four button. Don't, don't freeze on me. Four, six, eight. Hello? Hi, Bess. What's up? You'll never believe this, but things have gotten even more complicated. I found some clues that there might be buried treasure in the house. Wow! Oh, Nancy, it sounds like you've got a real case on your hands. How can we help? Sure. Do either of you know what gumbo foo means? It sounds Chinese. Call Emily. She'll know. Thanks, George. It was a small fire in the house, but luckily I put it out. But the old papers that Abby found were destroyed. Things are really starting to heat up, Nancy. Ugh, so are the bad puns. Why would someone want to burn those papers? I bet there was something in them that was important. I'd take another look at the scene of the fire for any clues. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, I already did that. I found a secret room in that basement, and it looks like someone is living there. Who could it be? Probably Charlie. Doesn't he spend most of his time down there? Look around for clues. Who knows what he's up to? Oh. Can you guys give me a clue? I'm not sure what to do next. Sorry, Nancy. I don't speak Chinese. Neither do I. Who does? I should get going. Talk to you later. Call us! Oh, well, they're fun, but I didn't get to talk to them about much. Hmm. I didn't even get to tell them about the seance. When do I tell everybody about the seance? It's Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. How's your case coming along? Have you ever heard of the Ladies' Protection Society? No, but it sounds like some turn-of-the-century charity. There were all these private agencies that helped out widows and orphans before the government took on that role. Do you know where hmm. Yerba Buena Town is? That's what San Francisco was called back during the Spanish colonial period, but no one calls it that anymore. I didn't know that. What do you know about the Bandit's Treasure? Bandit's Treasure? Oh! You mean the play! The rep did a season where they performed old local plays, including The Bandit's Treasure. I've never seen it, but I hear the music is fantastic. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? Oh, sounds Chinese to me. Why don't you ask everyone what they think it means? It may have something to do with the house. In the meantime, I'll ask my friends about it. Hmm. Gumbo foo. Did I just hear a door open and shut? I should get going. Goodbye, Emily. Goodbye, Nancy. Huh. Who opened and shut a door? Well, maybe it was Lewis. Let's see if we can talk to Hannah. Three, seven, three, nine. <laughs> no, that song's gonna be stuck in my head all day. Drew Residence, Hannah Green speaking. That song's Hi, gonna Hannah. be stuck Hi, in my head all day long. This house is full of surprises. I found a secret room in the basement where someone's been living. Strange accidents, secret rooms, seances. The more I hear about this house, the more I wonder what Rose has gotten herself into. Lewis is up to something. I saw him take a book from the library. That doesn't sound very hmm. suspicious. What was the book about? I should get back to work. Oh. Goodbye. Hmm. Well, I guess that's Goodbye. us calling everybody. I'm going to call Bess and George again, just in case. Because I want to talk to them about the seance. I want to talk to somebody about the seance. I played this, the last time I played this game, I could talk to people about the seance. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. I'm convinced that this house is haunted. I'm just not sure who is responsible. Isn't it obvious? Senior Valdez and his wife, long-lost soulmates wandering aimlessly in the netherworld, returning to this house to search for each other. Ah, <sighs> I only hope that one day I will be able to reunite them so that they may find peace. I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. 
But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yes, it was. How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Do you know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Let's set the alarm for the next day. Uh, 11 a.m. That sounds good. People should be around. And let's talk to Abby and Rose. about the seance. I love gumbo. What kind of gumbo is gumbo foo? Uh, never mind. Does Charlie live around here? I'm not sure. He said he's between apartments. I think he said he's staying with friends until he can find a place of his own. Is Charlie from the Bay Area? I don't know. You might want to ask Rose. He doesn't talk much about his private life. Hmm. Between apartments? That seems kind of odd. Not for San Francisco. Rents are really high, and there are so many kids thinking they can find cheap housing out here. It's sad to say, but a lot of them end up on the streets. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Bye bye hmm. hmm. Oh well, let's talk to Rose. Hello. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Take care. Ah! Oh, we can't talk to her about anything. Please tell me we can at least talk to dear old Charlie. Now we're not out of people to talk to. Hi, Nancy. Uh. What's up? Charlie, I found this diskette. I think it's yours. I was wondering where it was. Thanks a lot, Nancy. Luckily, I had a backup at the school. Hmm. Charlie, I know your secret. I know you're living in the hidden room behind the saloon. Dun dun dun. Rose, I have no place to stay. How did you find the room? I was homeless, camping out in parks. One day I was looking for a place to get out of the rain, so I ducked under some bushes, found this hidden panel that led to the secret room. Nancy, I didn't mean any harm. I just needed a place to live. Hmm. I really think you should tell Rose. But I'll keep your secret if you help me out. It's a deal, and I will tell Rose. What do you need? I'm hmm. guessing you saw Abby's seance. What else have you seen from that two-way mirror? Once I saw Lewis tapping on the floors and walls. He could have been checking for termites, but it was kind of weird if you ask me. Hmm. Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Bye, Nancy. And thanks, Nancy, for keeping my secret. I'll tell Rose. Oh, okay. Hi, Nancy. What's up? I'll let you get back to your renovation. Bye. Whoops, didn't mean to click on him a second time. Well, okay, we're finished talking with Charlie. Okay, so let me see. I've talked to everybody, I think, except Lewis. Maybe I can talk to Rose Hello. about something. I can nope, see no, I busy. can't. I'll let you go. Don't work too hard. <laughs> I won't work too hard. Hmm, I didn't mean to look at that. Oh, Lewis isn't here yet. Hmm. Let me see, he shows up at... Oh, he shows up at 12, so, uh... Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just skip ahead to when Lewis shows up. to burn to the ground. That way you won't have to worry about losing your investment. 
You'll just collect the insurance. How dared you? Are you accusing me of fraud? I'm sorry, Rose. I don't know. It's just all these accidents and now this. I know you're dedicated to this house. I'm sorry for doubting you. Let's just finish up these curtains. I think the stress of the last few weeks has finally gotten the better of us.